What's going on YouTube? It is Cuts by Coast here bringing you another video. Today we are going to do a two on the sides with a taper and we are going to do a comb over. We are just going to trim up the top of his hair just a little bit. He does like to leave it a little bit longer and you can see how crazy he came in looking. We're just going to get him back in the game. To start this off, we're just going to start by parting the hair and making sure it's a perfectly straight part. If there's one thing I can teach you guys that sticks, please comb the hair before you cut the hair. I don't know why people do not do that, but I've had clients ask me, like, you gonna comb my hair? I'm like, you gonna let me get to it or what? I don't know. I don't know who doesn't comb hair before they start cutting it, but I have seen some haircuts that I feel like I can tell when they did or did not comb the hair to start, and please, it is very important to do. So we're just gonna take a two guard up and flicking into this section that we're creating of weight right here. I'm gonna take the comb and hold that down so that none of that hair bounces off out of the way and that we keep a uniform shape for the weight going around his head as well. And now we're gonna start off the taper by using our trimmer and I'm not gonna set in any harsh lines on his hair. So our first official guideline is going to be with the lever all the way open on the clipper. And really I'm going to kind of stretch this up almost to the weight, like a high taper but it's not a lot of bald. And what we're going to do is we're going to work the lever halfway open then all the way closed within each section. We will do the same with the one guard. We're going to set in that first initial guideline all the way open. We will work halfway and then what that doesn't get we will close up. And then if that does not get it, we will take the half guard or the zero guard and clean up the rest. So far, I haven't got a DM about who won the giveaway, so I'm going to give it a couple more videos. And if nobody claims it, then I will redo the giveaway. But if you guys are still listening, go ahead, leave me a like, comment, and hit that subscribe button if you guys really mess with me. Just for the purpose of the video, I am just going to slightly taper in his beard. I'm not going to leave all the steps in because that wasn't the focal point of this video. But I recommend if you guys are going to take a picture or do a video, I would just touch up just a taper by the ear on a beard. I ended up actually taking a two, I think with the grain on this, just to clean it up all the way. But I was not planning on doing his beard on this day. And as you can tell right there where I'm cutting with the clipper, I'm going to stack some bigger guards and try to knock out that area of thickness right there. And here I am with that two guard I was talking about and I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna flick out opposite of hair. So we're gonna go down with the face and as soon as it starts to round, you wanna flick out so that you're not cutting too much of this beard off. And the reason that I'm fading it so much at the top of his beard line is I want to make sure that we can knock it short, similar to a hairline. We want it to be as low and easy to line up as possible. And to start off this side, I'm going to go ahead and speed it up, but we're going to take a two guard, setting up the highest point that we want with the two, really just flicking into some weight. And then go ahead and neutralize that weight a little bit. We're going to take a three guard and flick out into that as well. taper the same exact way we're going to set in the shape that we want to follow and then we will start with the open lever the lever halfway open and the lever all the way closed we're going to do the same exact steps with the one guard and then we're just going to make sure that when we're doing this we're always going to cut to color it 
if you haven't checked out my page in a little bit go check out my page and check out my new playlist i kind of categorized everything as far as crops throws and comb overs etc and if you guys would like to see a new element to my channel please comment below and tell me what you guys would like to see i'd love to improve my content And lastly on this side before lining up around his ear we are just going to fade down the beard again on this side and make it just clean enough to put a super sharp line on it. And just because it made me think of it using this detailer around the ear I did unfortunately my custom FX battery died on my trimmer so I'm gonna have to buy a new trimmer and wait until I could buy a battery from somewhere or hope or maybe I just have to switch it out I don't know hopefully I can find one but until then have you guys done the custom FX I would like to pick up a pair but it is pretty expensive I would like to do some Lakers colors of course for Goat James and Kobe Bryant and them might do the Mamba jersey style like all black and yellow with a purple lever Now that we've done our two and three guard, we're gonna go ahead and take some clipper over comb to connect this part of the weight. Sometimes I like to do shear over comb or thinnest shear over comb as well. But being that his head is pretty straight up, it's easy for me to rest that comb on there and perfectly shape his weight. We're just gonna go ahead and start tapering him out. I'm gonna cut it right to above where his cowlicks are in the back, and then we will move up from there. So we're gonna start off this table with the open lever, and I'm kind of breaking this section up into two spots. I wanna say I was talking to somebody, but we're gonna do the lever midway close and then all the way close, flicking out at the bottom. I wanna say I come back with the trimmer at the end, but we will go ahead and spin over to this other half and do the same exact steps. So next we're gonna use the one guard and do the same thing. And this is the extent of the height we're gonna go is the middle of the ear. So from here on down, I'm gonna to try to stay within this section. I will grab a one and a half to flick into the two if needed. But as far as I can tell, I'm just gonna work now with the one and then the half guard and line it up and we will cut the top. If you guys are still watching, go ahead and leave me a like, comment, and hit that subscribe button. Really the only request he has is that he wants to leave the top a little bit longer. So we're gonna cut off somewhere between a half inch and a quarter of an inch. We're really just trying to make sure that it follows the same shape that he wants to go for, that longer come over style. And I don't know what you guys use, but I, right here I'm using fresh shears. And if you haven't heard of these, go over to my Fresh Shears video. I do have one up under my unboxing and reviews playlist. But let me know what you guys think. When we cut this side, we're really gonna try to cut it square to his head. And with doing that, it makes the weight sit just so much better and supporting that comb over. And right here, what I'm gonna do is comb all the bangs out and I'm just gonna point cut what's connecting from the short to the long. I want it to sit in, but I don't want it to hang over. And that's the best way that we can do that. 
right here, I'm gonna put in some Elegance Gel, just to wax. I don't have any uh, reason why I use this other than that it's just some solid stuff. And guys, this is what we started with and I'm gonna show you guys the after. I hope you guys like this video. Go ahead, leave me a like, a comment, and hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell as well. That helps me so much. I appreciate you guys for watching. It's Cuts by Coast and I'm out of here.